No. No. I'm not shaking someone down tonight. Okay, I know I have to show him the rope sometime soon, but tonight is not the night. We just got back from the funeral. He lost his dad. You're right. No, you're right. This could definitely get his mind off of it. I sure you don't need like a mask for this. Yeah, I don't think he can do much to you. I think he's sort of got nothing on you. Some debts? Yes. Yes, that was uh, that was tonight. Um, unfortunately, the company's not in a financial uh, point of stability where I can pay you back in its entirety tonight. Uh, but in a week, I promise. I promise in a week I'll have it for you. Uh, I don't know if a week's gonna work. I, I understand that. I, I can certainly see where you're coming from. It's just that. Uh, See my uh, my wife. She's she's pregnant. And I just can't. I can't afford to be uh, wiped wiped clean at, at such a crucial point. Um, if if you would allow me just a little bit of time, I, again, I, you have my word. I promise. One week. One week. Thank you. Thank you. One week. You get it to us in a week. One week. Yeah. He said in one week he'd give us everything back. What? He said he didn't have it on him. He doesn't have he doesn't carry fifty thousand dollars in cash around. Who does? If we let him off that easy, he's never gonna pay you. You think he's gonna pay you? You think you're gonna go in there and say, oh, Hey, look at this picture. He's gonna pay you the money. This doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's see you get fifty thousand then. All right. Well, you know what? I didn't see it pop. I didn't see it pop. I'm just gonna be honest with you. All right. This is this is how you this is how you pop it. Okay. No, you're not gonna be laughing at this. I was just telling your friend, um, it's just... What do you think we're all about here? No, that we're not going to collect? No, I, 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 I get to the money. You won't care about your wife! I, I do! I do, I do, please. You better have that money in two days, or you're done! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Sit down. She won't care about you anymore. It won't matter anymore. Is how you get it done. He'll actually, we probably might actually pay us.
doesn't have any idea where Velma is. <laughs> Bet I can find out. <laughs> Ceiling's the limit. How about another drink? Sure. This stuff dies painless with me. Don't know what hit it. You wouldn't uh, happen to have a picture of her around, would you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Who else could we have gone to? Tommy? Larry? They're not even half as good. Henry, got some bad news. What? Bad news. Walk and talk. The Murphy head went awry. So what happened? He totally screwed up. He got knocked off. So what do you recommend? We gotta get we gotta get someone that knows what they're doing to get on this. Do you have anyone in mind? Yeah, I think we might have to get him out of retirement. You're talking about... All right. Do it. Sounds good. You take care of the chickens and uh, I'll make sure... I'll figure it out. You're gonna have to meet me tonight. Sorry, but I gotta cash it in. You owe me one. Let's make it 6 p.m. at the usual spot.
Still kept it, eh? No kids in back of this thing? I'm just joking. Hey, listen, uh... I know this is the last thing you want to hear. We really need you back, dude. I can't really count on anybody anymore. We need someone who knows what they're doing. I, I get it. You haven't seen your sister in a while. This is the last thing she'd want. We need you. I'm not coming out. I know you and Joey didn't get along, but his son's taken over. I think you'll like him. I really do. You should meet him. Just meet him, just talk to him. Okay, set up the damn meeting. But if I don't like it, I'm out. For good this time. All right. Give me a wire. Joey's son. Been taking over the business. Been doing really well too. Hello. I assume he's ready. I know you're not too excited about coming back out of retirement, but I think we have something for you. I've been casing a girl for the last three weeks, and I think his sister. It's your sister. I think we can get you that. But four jobs, one sister. It's as simple as that. We need you to knock off a guy next week. Three more. You're good. Okay. For uh, 25 ahead. Okay. Plus my sister. Okay, now listen. 25 ahead would be good. Standard rate. 25 ahead. It's done. <sighs> off you go. I feel like I started like any of you guys. Dad was part of the business. My sister and my mom, they ran the household, didn't ask questions, see no evil, hear no evil. But one day, one day I came home bloodied, fucked up. I was expecting to see my dad. I was waiting for him. He was out getting drunk. My sister, she just, she walked in. She didn't even, she didn't even knock. And I'm fucking bloody all over the place and she screams. It's so fucking loud. I haven't talked to her in so long. She won't. She just won't let me in. She just, she changed her numbers, she changed everything. I can't even get near her anymore. And the f funny part is, even if she came back, I don't even know what I would say. I just don't know. 
I fucked up. It's all dad's fault. I don't think she'd really understand. That's why I guess I'm here. Just to figure out what I would what I would say. I don't have anything more I can share right now. I wish I could tell you this one was going to be easy for you, but Murphy just happened to botch one of the more difficult targets. Not only does he now know that we're going after him, but it turns out he's got a bunch of inside guys on the police force covering his butt, which means that you're really going to have to play this one close to the chest. There is good news, however. Murphy did not case him. I did. So I know exactly where he was the time everything went down. And I know where his home base is. Which makes it very difficult for him to know we're coming for him again. And the good news is that he lives right there. Right to our left. Quiet. As always. I'm gonna need a week. It's all the time you have. I know you got this. We didn't bring you out of retirement for no reason. Saw your picture in the paper My, you're looking pretty good Looks like you're gonna make it in a big way Well, I always knew you would But I should have known better, yeah And I should have seen soon
So you better get it off your mind Give your money, I don't care Take you with me anywhere Tell you, babe, I'm not the loving kind Tell you, babe, I'm not the loving kind Get somebody else and you'll do fine Cast your tears into the sea Don't waste your good tears on me Tell you, babe, I'm not the loving kind. Finish that. <sighs> it's gonna get a lot worse. <sighs> I feel really weird right now. I'll tell you what, I do not want to die. You better start praying to whatever God you believe in. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You fucked the wrong people. Okay, look. I, I have one request. When you're done, can you at least move me to my room, to my bed? My son is coming to visit. I cannot have him find me like this. Please. Looking good. Appreciate that. Got more years and then. Be great. Probably need to cut down that tree at some point. Mm hmm. Looking through your dad's old stuff and uh, I think it's time that uh, it's just passed on to you. I think you're ready for it. I really wanted you All to right. have it. Leave it. She's all yours now. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at this man. Wow. You are efficient. Can't believe you didn't use a gun. That. That's a classic. You are so great. How's it feel? You're back in the game. You're back in the game, baby. How's it feel? Don't answer that. He's your next guy. It's going to be a piece of cake. Lives right next to you, his name is Eddie. He's got a wife, as you can see in the next one. Kind of a looker, man. I don't want to hit that after. I mean, you do the deed and all. I cannot believe it. You're back in the, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. You are one of the best. 
you dug us out of a huge hole. I can't believe it. Keep killing it. <laughs> Got a new mattress. Been sleeping a lot better, which has been good. Old mattress was shit. Hope that keeps up at least. That's that's all I've got. Good, good. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks for sharing. Well, everyone, we've got a uh, newest member tonight. Henry, why don't you come on in? Take a seat. Thanks for joining us, Henry. When you're ready, just share with the, the group. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> a friend recommended this group. Um, <clears throat> my, uh, my dad passed away recently and, um, it was a heart attack. Um, he was in the business. I never really, um, you never would have guessed it though. Cause, uh, he would come home and we'd have a drink and a smoke by the grill and just shoot the shit. I never really had the, and he, he didn't need a gun. He could. He just. He just had it. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't really know what to say. Okay. Hey, it's your first night, brother. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Let's give it up for Henry. You spying on me? You'd like that, wouldn't you? No, uh, a friend told me about this. Our mutual friend? You'd like to think so. You get anything out of this? <sighs> yeah, I just get to vent my feelings, I don't know. Killing, do you get anything out of killing? Did your dad? I guess I never really asked him, but yeah, he must have. I think mine did too. Well, buddy, I, I'd love to sit and chat, but I gotta get going. People, uh, see you and kill at the same time. What's up? It's going great. Uh, I just followed him to a place in the middle of nowhere, apparently selling some books. 
or something, I don't know. And after that, I'm going to uh, take him out. So uh, we're good. No need to check in. Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to do the job. Okay? Bye. Chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty. I want to be in the warm heart of your love and mine. To feel you all around me and to take your hand along the sand. Ah, but I may as well try and catch the wind. When sundown pales the sky, I want to hide a while behind your smile. And everywhere I'd look, your eyes would find. For me to love you now would be the sweetest thing. It would make me sing. I bet I may as well try and catch the wind. It's been a while. You've really grown up. You've really grown up. Well, I've been thinking it over. I was thinking about giving you the, the address after all of them, but let's just say you've been doing a good job. Pretty efficient. So I'll text you the address now, okay? Just don't be nervous.
Hey bud, it's going to be a big one tonight, ruffle some feathers, show you the business. He always used to call me bud. Well, everyone else does, maybe behind your back, I don't know. Good to know. I always hated that name. I just don't know how he did it, you know? Go out, fuck people up, and then come home and have a beer and pet the cat. Like, no big deal, you know? I think you just did it day by day. Like everyone else. It's not like you left a instruction manual and you can't just... It's just hard studying the ship when you don't know what to do. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. You don't have to worry about anything. Can I ask you something? You can't laugh at me. I won't laugh. I don't know how to shoot a gun. Really? He never taught you. I'll take you to the range. The range? Yeah. I'm sure you'll be a great shooter in no time. All right. Yeah. 
think you're dating my sister. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, so recently, uh, Jessica came by New Life. And, hey, by the way, between you and I, you have a very cute sister. <laughs> Again, I don't mean, yeah, don't mean to be weird about that, but... You know, I introduced myself, and then recently, just this past week, I don't know if she told you this in passing, uh, but she was water baptized. Do you, um, do you attend church at all? No, I just actually got my first Bible. Your first Bible? Well, congratulations. Do you have a favorite Bible verse? Uh, I just got it. Right, so let me hook you up, actually. Hang on. Now this, it comes from the book of Hebrews. It's a new letter of Paul's. Let me read it to you. Hebrews 12, 14. Strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Well, I'll tell you what. So this Sunday... There's an 8.30 and a 10 p.m. service. Now, me personally, you know, I sleep in a little bit, so I just preach at the 10 p.m. But you're more than welcome. We'll have some coffee together afterwards and, uh, and kind of get to know each other. How's that sound? have to believe me when I tell you that this kill is going to be a lot different than the other kills. This guy is a weirdo. He wears a motorcycle helmet on his head 24-7. Who knows if he even sleeps with the thing out? I have no idea. All I know is that he's a psychopath and he's got a lot of blood on his hands. So you got to watch yourself. Okay? Unfortunately, Honey Bear here will not be able to protect you. Watch your own back. You should be fine. Well, let's go. Hopefully she doesn't crap on my seat again. It's tired and I'm getting late I try to speak but I can't relate The DJ says I need my rest Like a storm lost bird, I can't find my nest. I just can't fall to you. is begun. Christopher Key, Miss Safe on the run. When I leave the land I love best, songs are fine. Doesn't matter. How they finish, things are fine. Doesn't care if it's rain or shine.
What are you doing? You're sitting here watching me from a distance. And you went to Daniel's house. He seems nice. What are you trying to do? Kill him? He's a pastor. I'm not gonna do that. And if he wasn't? See, this is the shit that I can't handle. You come back, and even when you say you've changed, you're still pulling the same old shit. Intimidating my boyfriend. I haven't seen you in a long time. And you're hanging out with some strange guy? What do you expect? You know what? We're gonna hash this out. Put on the radio. We're gonna drive somewhere. You want to know what happened in my life? A whole lot of nothing. I mean, college, student loans, getting engaged. I had to move on. I had to get out of that hellhole. And you can't really have a normal life when you find out your brother's a contract killer. You know how Dad was. <laughs> no. No, you don't get to do that. You come out of nowhere. You seek me out. And you act like nothing has changed. <laughs> I mean, you've hurt people. Dad fucked you up. But you had a choice. You've always had a choice. And I'm tired. I I'm tired of thinking of ways that I can fix you. I mean, it's always something that they dangle in front of you to get you to come back. I care about you. But I can't have you in my life anymore. Just go to the car. Go to the car.
Why are we here? Look, I know. We're both dealing with something right now. And I don't want to mess with whatever way you're dealing with the loss. But I just think it it would be right if I told you the story behind this. I don't get why this means so much to you. Just, just hear me out. It was a couple years back. I'd only been working for a couple months. And <laughs> took a trip to the to the gun store. And uh, <laughs> I just did a good job and I <laughs> I thought I was getting a new piece, but that day he told me and a new member would be joining us. Someone that he'd been grooming for for years, he said. One of the hardest workers he's ever met. He looked me in the face and told me he deserved one of the best. He didn't even give it to you. He didn't even get to give it to you himself. This is his legacy. Just take it, just take the damn gun. Uh, how you liking it? It's all right. Nothing close to uh, I don't know, LA or San Francisco. Uh, I've done the LA thing. It's just not my. Uh, it's not my thing. Yeah. Well. Speaking of which, man, you, of all the people I know, you are the one that needs to get away. Man, you need to go. Speaking of LA, somewhere on the West Coast, man. What about Las Vegas? I get to you in Vegas. You think they got a big pool there? Forget about pools. There are pools all day. Speaking of which, is this a leaf? Do your damn job. faith in yourself It bothers me now to watch you You got no faith in your own self You listen more to your friends than to your own heart inside Well, you listen to them Oh, but you don't got nothing to be afraid of You're not as bad as you think And you're always putting yourself down But I'm just gonna tell you that I like you Darling, you always put yourself down But I like you, that's all I came to say then there's no need 
to think that other people can do things better than you can do them because you got the same power in you i got faith in you sometimes you don't have it in yourself but i got faith in you and our time is right now now we can do anything we really want to our time is now here in the morning of our lives and it ain't just me who thinks so dear i ask my friends now leroy and asa and d sharp tell her not to be afraid don't be afraid tell her it's okay it's okay it's okay tell her it's all right Let's kill. It's the address. Dude, what's going on? Why are you on a hit list? Hit list? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, hey. Why does someone want you hey, dead? Hey, buddy, hey, hey, hey. So to get my church started, okay, I had to take out a little bit of money. And and that's, I, I probably shouldn't have done that, okay? How like, but, much money? It's about, it's about 15,000. What I need you to do is give me your keys right now. I need you to go inside. I need you to wait for me. I need you not to say anything to my sister. You got that? Okay, listen. Here, here's the keys. I'm gonna beg for your life. Get me off the job, please. What's the issue, dude? Uh, you out of anyone should be able to fix this. Anyone! You're really close to the guy! You've seen him already! He knows he's a joke! He's family. And I don't like him either. But he's family, and I'm not gonna fucking kill him, okay? The guy went to a loan shark. To start a church. That yeah. guy's a hack who doesn't know what the fuck he's getting himself into, okay? And you should not be the one bailing him out. Yeah, I know he's a schmuck, but I'm not going to fucking kill him. So give me another job, I'll do it, and then you just leave him alone, okay? Right. Sure. I'll be the professional one and get you off of this. 
and I'll figure something out, okay? Don't worry about it. I don't know why you're sticking up for that guy. I'm busy. What is it? Call you back. Yeah, I got him. Give me the gun. No. You don't know what you're doing, just give me the fucking gun. I said no, I'm not giving it to you. Give me the fucking gun right now! No! No! You're not ruining my life too! Your life's already screwed up! This is not happening! No! Okay then, then where are your keys? Yeah, the table. Okay, grab them, let's go. Let's go. What's going on? Nothing. It certainly doesn't look like nothing. What's going yeah, on? Nothing you need to worry about. Just get the hell away. What's going on? Do so you really want to know? Yeah. I just got a fucking gun pointed in my head. And now, our main guy isn't going to make the final kill, and I have to figure this thing out. And people All have right. to get tortured now. Alright. 
All right. All right. We Who's gonna do it? You? We don't have to torture anybody. I'm sorry to say this, but we do. I have to do this. No, you don't. I run the business. We don't have to torture anybody. Okay. Have a gun pointed against your head and then tell me that you know. This is the way things are gonna happen. I'm serious about this. Oh yeah, what you gonna do with that? What do you think? We don't torture anybody. You are going to have to shoot me to stop me. You know I'm not cut from that type of rock. You don't get it, do you? You are the choicest cut. And if your father was around, he would have told you himself. He's not around, is he? I loved you. I did. I loved you. I just come out here sometimes to clear my head. Yeah, they're gone. And you didn't break God's word, so we're all good. What the hell do you know about God's word, dude? You gotta stop mentioning that. You don't even know God's word. Sorry, you just, you're just quoting things you don't even know what you're talking about. What? Like, what do you we need to go. That's, that's the problem. You need to get out of here so I can go fucking kill people. All right, look, man. You need to promise me one thing, all right? Listen, look at me. You're a good guy. You got, there's things going for you. Just don't promise me, please, you won't kill anybody else. I walked right in there. I made sure to be really extra careful. I didn't even track any mud in. All I can remember is the sweet, sweet smell in the kitchen. I followed it. And there was there was my target right there. I just pulled the gun out and I just shot him. It was so quick. His sister came in, she started yelling at me, getting his blood all over me, screaming. She really mucked everything up. You guys know what happened? It was all because of this fucking gun. That's what I always told myself. This gun was the reason that everything went to shit. My father bought this gun. It wasn't his fault. I loaded the bullets. I shot the people. He just gave me a license to do it. And even after everything, everything I've said, everything I wanted to do, I was gonna load this gun. And I was gonna kill someone tonight. 
And the funny part <laughs> is just that I couldn't find the fucking bullets. <laughs> That's the funny part. I couldn't find them. I looked for them. And it's been so long since I've used this thing. I couldn't find them. And when I was thinking about that, what am I doing? I can't use this anymore. And I can't do any more of these fucking meetings. I'm done. I don't have a gun, sit down. It's not personal. I didn't mean to screw you over. Trust me, I wanted to finish the job. But if I did that, I'd mess my sister's life up forever. I can't do that. I understand. You gotta kill me, you gotta kill me. Just do it. You know, and if we end up in the same retirement home one day, and you fall asleep first, don't say I didn't warn you. Looks like you gotta get to work. It's pretty messy. I'm actually thinking about selling the place. We'll just... Never seems to get clean. I'm gonna go. You should call your sister. It's a little late for that. But thanks. Hi, we've never spoken before. I'm a friend of your brother's. And before you hang up, just listen to what I have to say and I'll never bother you again. I know you're not proud of who your brother is. And in fact, he's probably been a bigger headache for most of your life than anything else. But you should know that he loves you more than anything in the world. And that people can change. See, I'm a lot like your brother and had similar issues, ways we were raised. Sometimes, you just gotta give people time, and they eventually will become who they really are. Anyway, I, I think if you're patient, you'll, you'll see, you'll see how much he loves you. Ha <laughs> ha